Good morning, everyone. It's November 16th. And I'm wearing a zebra pajamas. And I hope you like it. Because I was feeling kind of chilly. It's cold. And I'm not wearing my glasses and I cannot see a thing. <laughs> okay, that's much better. I can see without my glasses, but I cannot see everything as clearly as I want. Better with glasses. Can you guys guess what I did? Since the water was dripping, dripping, and not actually running, running with pressure, it's better than nothing. We have more pressure than we did yesterday. I went and took a shower. Nice, wet, pink hair. But, yeah, look. My hair is turning pink again, uh, blonde again. After 14 days without washing it, <laughs> I feel... Chilly, I'm cold. Okay, now I feel better. Put my pajamas on. With my ears. Yeah, I do like pajamas a lot. I'm home, I'm cold, I wear pajamas. Why? We haven't put it on yet. Well, we haven't actually installed the whole thing. Like, we take those for the wood stove. Uh, it's like... I don't even know what to call it. And you put them in the hole so the smoke can go out. We haven't actually put it together again. This year. And winter is coming. We're going to have to do it at some point. But even if it was installed, ready to... For this winter, I wouldn't do it. That would be a waste of money. Air condition, well, I could put it a little bit warm. But I'm alone here. My daughter woke up, got dressed, and went to her grandma's. Boys are working... It's like, why turn on the air condition? And and I just feel cold right, like, right after a shower because my hair is wet. I'm wet. I could blow dry my hair, right? But, again, I don't do that. So I just put on pajamas and I'm going to be warm soon. Having my leftover coffee from about an hour ago. And I'll probably make another one. And that's going to keep me warm. And I do have to finish the clothes today. That is if I can find time. Sometimes time is not on my side. Why? Because when I wake up, I need like a half an hour to 45 minutes just to start working. My brain's like, sleep. I do go to sleep late because I work. Yes, it was kind of stupid because the last customer actually came and got their salad and paid me for their kids' pizzas at 11.30. But I was stuck watching a movie. And I came upstairs at, she came out at 11.45, like 45.50, and I came upstairs like at 12.20, because I was watching a movie on Netflix. Yes, I actually, there was no customers. Those two weird customers didn't stay up till late, and one never came yesterday. So I was able to watch Netflix. See, how was my turn. My turn at last. After two months of Netflix, I've watched like twice. That was my mom again. See, because I'm filming through my cell phone because it's a lot easier. Yeah, 365 days of frugal living is a lot easier doing it through the cell phone than my actual camera. Because then I will have to sit down on the computer, uh, edit it. And it takes, I don't know, my editing thing on the computer isn't working. After that, what did I do? I cleaned it and... We raised history, had it, uh, rebooted, blah, 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 blah. After twice, after whole summer, OBS isn't working. My editing thing that I had downloaded, I think it's called DaVinci Resolve, isn't working properly. I don't know what's wrong with my computer. It's a new computer. I got it two years ago. But I was using it in the store for music and stuff like that during the summer. And when you're... I'm trying to do 365 days of vlogging about frugal living in my life and my store and everything in between. And this big family too, right? It's a lot easier having your, doing it on your cell phone. I have downloaded an editing advice, the editing app. So it's like, ch -ch -ch, edit everything, glue it together as fast as I can. Even on the run, you don't have, you don't need an internet connection. And when you get to an internet connection, a Wi-Fi, you just upload it. 
So we do get interrupted by phone calls. And I don't, and especially when I have my landline downstairs, and I don't want to bring it upstairs because it's getting on my nerves. Dun, 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 dun. I have my phone on, on an airplane, airplane mode. But when I do have the landline, I have an airplane mode and nobody bugs me. But it's still chilly. Yeah, it's chilly today. Can't wait until it's 11, 12 o'clock because then it's the warmest part of the day and I'll probably get warm. Or when I put socks on my legs, on my feet, and that will keep me warm too, won't it? Let's go in the room and see what I've done to with the clothes. I've got to make half the bed. <laughs> well, anyways, as you see, I haven't done anything. Just put them here, empty three drawers. Put it all over the place. I was sleeping on that little... But who really cares? This is what happens when you're a full-time working mom and you have to have food for the table. You get nothing done. But let me just get dressed, have another coffee. Like I was saying, let me have another coffee because it is quite cold right now. It's mostly humidity and wet hair. But it's freezing right now. If anybody that knows me sees me and sees me shaking like this, you're going to go, that's all Maggie. Maggie never gets cold, but I'm freezing. So have a nice warm coffee. Get dressed like a human being. Put socks on my legs. And I'm off to finish this because winter's coming. Yeah, it is. Well, it's 1130 and I've done absolutely nothing today. Why? Well, after taking the shower... My hair is getting kind of dry, and I'm wearing a jacket in the house. Yeah, I'm literally wearing a jacket in the house. But let's continue it in my bedroom so you guys can have a laugh. So I can leave the phone down because it is getting on my nerves holding it all the time. Oh, please wish. Or did I order from Vova? Please send my stand, the one that's going to hold my cell phone up so I can do cooking videos again because with one hand and this stand, my night stand, that's what I call it, it's impossible. But anyways, back to the topic that I was saying before, my hair's still wet. My vegetable guy came. Yay! I bought two kilos of tomatoes and one kilo of onions for the store and paid five for that. So, for you guys that don't know about kilos, I bought four and a half pounds of tomatoes and 2.2 pounds of onions for $5. <laughs> and of course, he gave me like four and three, seven free tomatoes that were kind of a little bit hit or too juicy or stuff like that. Could have gotten cheaper? Of course, I could have got the same things, but without the free part, right? Oh, we'll put the free part in too. I could have got the same amount of vegetables for three. But all summer long, this guy has been passing, selling me vegetables right in front of my doorstep three times a week whenever I need them or sending them over. Every time I run out of something, it's like, yeah, I need that tomorrow. So it's, if he's not passing, he has it, uh... A crisscross that he sends with another friend by 7 o'clock. So, you have to be loyal to people that are loyal to you, right? Yeah, I see that. I see my goals. <laughs> so, running outside, I had to get dressed. I couldn't go out with my pajamas. Got dressed. And I'm good. But my hair was wet. It's still wet. And I'm freezing cold. So, got dressed, put a jacket on. And I'm like this in the house. <laughs> but we're not finished. We have to actually get this room done by the end of this weekend. And you're probably going, well, if you had me having coffee, blah, blah, blah. But my body is tired. Now the question I wanted to ask you guys. And I think I'm getting my energy back. I'm getting my energy back. I'm getting my energy back. Yep, see, my hair's drying. I'm getting kind of warmer. And I'm getting my energy back. 
December 9th is my birthday. I'm really bad with pets. Like dogs and stuff I need. So I'm thinking of getting a humongous, humongous, quite expensive birdcage. Big birdcage! I think I got too much, too much energy now. But anyways, buying four bungees. So if you're from Australia, you know what I'm talking about. Those little chippity, 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 chippity things that are like me that can't stop talking. Why can't I be like this in public? Anyways, so they won't feel lonely even if I forget to talk to them. <laughs> so there'll be four of them in a cage. No, I don't want to buy the ones that are tame that you put in your finger and like, Hey, hello. It's for good mama and... No, those are too expensive for me. Getting four birds, putting them in a humongous cage, and have it as a decoration in the store with all the greenery around. And the greenery is growing. I don't know. Everybody's grows in summer or spring. My greenery? It was doing awful. Okay, kind of awful. During those months, and now that it's getting cold, colder than what it was during the uh, heat waves and everything, it's starting to sprout and grow and do weird things. So if we can keep our greenery alive, like our plants, for all winter, which I'm doing my best, I'm doing my best. And go to Khalgida, get my pass, apply for my passport again. Get a few things, try them out, then after 10 days, go and get my passport. And if I like those things, get the rest of them done, or spring, but it'll be a lot easier if I do it during winter. And starting having the things and supplies I need to set up the store for summer. Summer starts in November, but I think I started my plans in October. I'm always trying to keep ahead of my goals. See, they're right there, right there, right there. So what do you guys think? Having the outside finished in a year or two. That's going to take like not 365 days of frugal living. Thank God I was doing it even before that for two years. Not to this extreme. But I was. It, it's a gradual thing. It started like with this much, then this much, then this much. And my hands are cold. This much is. And this year we're at this much. So I can see myself. No, I can't go more than this. I can go like more savings, but not more than that. Because after that, I'm going to have to stop eating completely. Stop feeding them. Stop taking showers. Stop spending on myself that 5, 10, 30 a year on shampoo, deodorants, and soaps. So should I get a bird cage and put four birds inside? And then after when it's closed outside, get a second bird cage because they'll be safe for winter plus summer plus birds uh, plus cats. So there wouldn't have to be anything to put one cage on one side, one cage on the other side with four bungees on one side and four lovebirds because I really love those parrots. I'm a parrot person. I don't like canaries. And I'm really bad with dogs. I play with them, I talk to them, but I don't like them in the house. They make a mess. The dog part. Cat part, I kind of cringe with cats, so I don't like hair all over my clothes. The same goes for dogs. And yeah, close it outside. Have the, the brick uh, stone tiles put up. Uh, do the wood part, close the store, put the greenery around, and have like one bird cage and one bird cage. So when customers open the door, the new door that I'm gonna have, they're gonna come into a green thing like cactus and succulents or succulents cactus all over, and one bird cage and one bird cage, and birds going, who on earth are you? Looking at them like that, like wild birds. I don't want them to be hand fed or something because they're gonna be too expensive. Not that the bird thing is going to be cheaper, but it's not going to be as expensive as getting tame birds. And getting just tame birds 
well, in summer, winter, and stuff like that, as you can see, I don't have time and I'm always running. And I wonder how I made time for the YouTube thing, but I'm doing my best. I'm doing my best, I promise. <laughs> and having them all, like I'll be feeding them. It's another thing just to over the top, take those two little bowls out, wash them, or four bowls at the end, wash them, put water and seeds, put them back in, put some fresh vegetables in those hanging things. Well, talk to them as you're doing that, clean their cages, and that's it. I won't have enough time, like another extra two or three hours a day, just to sit there and play with them. But since they're gonna be like four in one cage for the beginning part, I think that'll be a good. And then getting the, after two years, getting a second cage and putting more birds on the other side, like love birds. Even they're gonna be talking to each other, like having company in the cage so they don't feel lonely. Plus, on the opposite sides, they're gonna go, hey, there, I'm here over here. And the other one's gonna go, like, tweet, tweet, we're over here. Probably have a conversation. What do you guys think about that? Does that sound normal? Or am I going over my head again? I'm leaving it up to you. Because I'm kind of like, yeah, I want them, but I'm not really responsible to play with them. But if I get them like four in one cage, like getting a humongous cage and putting four, I think they're going to have enough company. And I am responsible for putting food and water because I'm there all the time in the store. So even if they're downstairs alone during the day, which I'm up, down, up, down, up, down, they're going to have each other company. And if you have birds, tell me what you think. If you're from Australia and I think budgies are native to you guys, tell me what you guys think. Are they fun? And if you have budgies in your house, there's links. Yeah, there's links somewhere and I have no idea. I think it's the homepage, my homepage on YouTube for Instagram and my Facebook. Go over there and send me pictures. Pictures of budgies and birds. I love birds. I hate canaries. Sorry, people. I do not like canaries. I like parrots. I don't know why. Can you imagine me at the end? Getting a pink parrot? Let me continue with my room. Yep, here's getting drier. I'm getting more energy. More energy, more energy, more energy. And another trick is, because I don't have any boxes left. And I don't want to break... The winter clothes in, to start having the box, like emptying them so I can put the summer clothes in. Because then, if I don't have time, if the phone rings, if a customer calls, if the family comes early, if I have to start cooking early, there's going to be no place for me to sleep. I do this almost every year. You guys see? I'm getting drier and drier. And I can... Garbage bag. Since we have all our clothes nicely, nicely folded... And I didn't turn in my sleep. Thank God for that. So I would have had to refold everything. We take the clothes nicely, put them in a the bag. Yep, it goes. So if we put these away, even if we don't put our winter clothes away, guess what? It's going to look a lot tidier. And then just the sight of it, it's going to be like, yes, accomplished. I've accomplished something. Do I make sense? I hope I do. And I'm also enjoying my hair, enjoying it, enjoying it. Yeah, it's kind of leaving. Yeah, it's not that pink anymore, but what can we do? After today's wash, my hair is not that pink. Because I use a really harsh, my sun shampoo to wash it and it faded away. It was good for three washes, I guess. I just paid a whole bunch of money for three washes. But what can we do? After 14 days of unwashed hair, you're not gonna use something gentle on your head. You're gonna use something drastical to wash your hair, clean the dirt out, because it was getting itchy. And now I faded my hair away. Am I gonna redo it? No. Enough spending money. Now the worst part is like, Either I'm going to do a blonde or pink or whatever. I might just wait till Easter to redo a pink. I'm not even sure of it. So no more dyeing. Only me. Whatever I find, either it's a pink dye, a blonde dye. 
I don't know. But we're not spending any more money on hair. We had fun in September. We had in October anyways. We had fun in November. The dye we did, but we're not paying my friend to dye my hair again. That was just to get the ugh, out of me. And it's out. Let me put the rest of the clothes in the bag. And we'll continue in a few seconds for you. Yes, sweetie. Please don't work so hard. Please don't pick up your clothes so fast. And to think I did half of your room, so it's your turn to do the rest. Yeah, this is how we actually walk around the house. Do that again? Yeah, that's how I was folding clothes. When I finished my shower, then I crashed like that. Stop. Really? On the floor? Yeah. I'm not gonna kill you. I'm gonna torture you only. You have to put all these clothes away, you know that. Voila. Okay. Look at this. Those. Today. Uh, who told you guys we're a normal family? I don't see anything normal here. Not mine. I don't have pink clothes. I got pink hair, but I don't have pink clothes. Ow! No, they're freshly washed. My freshly washed hair. See? I got long hair. You? You don't have hair. You don't have... Okay. <laughs> I got long hair, you got short. That's why almost nothing gets done in this house. Everyone else is going to do it at the end, don't you guys? Let me make a coffee and I'm off to my room. She just lost that chewing gum. She had her mouth in her bed, on her bed or somewhere in the room. Uh, I don't need parrots. No. I'll get rid of everybody in the house and train parrots and monkeys. They're going to do a better job at it. <laughs> I wonder why we get nothing done. That's it. And the way that we're going, as you guys can see it, we're probably going to be finished by next year. Or in 2025, we'll be finished. Yeah, by 2025. Well, we have to have fun, don't we? If we don't act silly, who's going to act silly? Having fun. Chores should be fun. Let me continue acting silly. I gotta got warm sap. Take this off. But we're trying our best. We will finish until next week. When you find free dessert, eat it. No way to share with anybody. I'm losing my dessert. Mmm. For me and for mom. Two weeks ago. So good. Sprinkled some cinnamon on because I like everything cinnamon, cinnamon, cinnamon. Greek style halva. Mmm. Yum, yum, yum. Maybe next time she makes it, we can film it. We can learn how to make it. It's really cheap, it's really sweet, and it's yummy, yummy with cinnamons. Oh, empty plate. Oh, we finished. But it is afternoon. It's going on to the evening. 
I hope you guys enjoyed my weird, wacky day today. Because, yeah, we... I had a lot of fun filming it. I guess the shower was well needed, and guess what? There's more damage to the water, and they cut it off again. Yep, we don't have water again. <laughs> but, I think I go for another 14 days, or 10 days. Or 12 days without water, without washing my hair. Again. Hope they fix it soon. My daughter's room is still not done. My room is half done. You guys are going to see it tomorrow. It's coming up to be a nice sleep room. Made lunch, fed them. I went and lied down for an hour and a half and just got up and got to the store. And I had my coffee, have a few smokes. Had something to eat that my mom made. I'm going to ask her if she can make it for us and I actually film her. We're going to film her from the neck down because she's shy, she told me. And... It was nice having you guys here and talking and reading your comments. And I hope you guys enjoy it because I do have fun some days. If you don't have fun, a day is not worth it, right? Like grabbing... Well, I couldn't film at the same time and run around the house with the, the bags. So I took one bag, I was running around. Then my daughter took another bag, she started running around. And at some point it's like, let's film each other. I'll film you, you film me. How about that? And we had a great laugh. But to be honest, we were both running around the house with garbage bags, jumping on beds, and acting silly. The bad thing is, there was not a third person to hold the phone to film it. If there was a third person, trust me, I will get them up running around the house with another bag. <laughs> Doing chores with acting silly is fun. But you don't get a lot of things done like that, no. But you do have fun. It's a good way to do chores. So until tomorrow, see you guys. Have fun, keep saving, and enjoy life. It is short. And if you're doing chores and you're bored, grab a bag and start chasing your family around with a garbage bag. And then give them one and tell them to make noise and start running around the whole living room. Your neighbors might think you're nuts, but you're going to have a great laugh at the end. And that's all that counts. Until tomorrow, see you guys.